up my movie fanatics and it's time for another blu-ray dvd update as you can see from the intro there i went a little ham on star wars because april was the month and not only was it the month for star wars it was my birthday month so i had a little bit of money to blow I, as you guys know from my previous video i actually had a gift card to toys r us to get some funko pops so this video, I have a lot to show you. I have a ton of Star Wars stuff, which I'll be showing you at the end. But I have a couple steelbooks to show you, regular Blu-rays, and also some more Funko Pops. So let's just jump right into it. First up, as you guys remember from an out and about, I picked these up. Oh, I don't even remember when, but just to recap on everything. First up is The Karate Kid 2. Fantastic. I love the first movie. Uh, me and Jesse said in the video, which I'll leave a link in the description somewhere. You'll see something somewhere. Um, I don't really remember this that well, and I had to pick it up for... It was only $7.99. I'm so good at taking tags off, you guys. Also picked up Sinister 2, which I'm a huge, huge fan of the first movie. And I had to pick this up, one, because it had the slip, and two, $14.99 isn't bad for it, but did I enjoy the movie? Yes, I enjoyed it. It was a lot... It was freaky, but I thought the deaths from the films were a little bit cheesy and they could have done a lot better. But overall, I thought it was a good movie. Plus, hey, can't say no to a slipcover. You guys know how we are. Can't say no to a slipcover. Next two here are just two blind buys that I just felt like picking up because they were cheap. First up is Reasonable Doubt. I know nothing about it. I love Samuel Jackson. It's a crime mystery whatever the back says it is but hey you know what for $5.99 it's been marked down if you guys can see the tags there it's been marked down like six times and getting this tag off here is going to be a pain in my butt so yes that's reasonable doubt also picked up cake once again kind of a blind buy a lot of people pick this up I don't know much about it I'm very interested in seeing it I love Jennifer Aniston we'll have to just wait and see I haven't gotten around to watching it yet but I'm really really excited to check it out and the last thing we picked up on one of our out and abouts was Up. Now, I'm very excited to have this. I've only seen this, I think, once or twice on television. And man, is it a tearjerker? I'll admit that. I have cried to this. I love this movie. Jess is thrilled to have it. Man, this thing is... He whoa, whoa, it's falling out of the case here. But it's actually, it's, it's thicker. It's heavier. So I can't wait to, oh, that's because it's one of those old school digital, you know, here's the disc, throw it in. But I can't wait to check this out again, revisit it. Now on to the steelbooks. These were all things that I actually picked up after I did my steelbook collection. So if you guys haven't seen my steelbook, my complete steelbook collection video, go check it out. The link will be in the description below. So first thing I picked up for $6, and I wanted this so bad, was the Walmart exclusive of Zoolander, the blue steelbook how awesome is that you guys know i love puns and stupid jokes love it the back is the best because it says how really 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 blah, 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 blah. really really ridiculously good looking that quote love that quote this is a beautiful steelbook very excited to have it but for six bucks how could i pass it up i just wish i had the wig thing that came with it but hey i can't complain at all another steelbook i picked up i believe this was at target for five bucks killing them softly I don't remember this movie very well. I remember seeing it on TV or a friend's house or something. But it's a very simple, cool steel book. Hey, it's a steel book. You guys know I'm not going to pass it up. The back I love. Very cool with the gun and the blood. Simple, cool. Big fan of Brad Pitt. Let me know in the comments below if this movie's any good, guys. Let me know because I have heard things about it, but I don't really remember, to be completely honest. Another steel book I picked up at the used store for $6. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yes, I like this movie. Is it the best? No, the no nothing will ever replace the 90s movie, guys. I love the 90s, but I'm actually really looking forward to the second one. We get Shredder on the back, and then we get the turtles on the front. The inside artwork is just like their lair. It has like the graffiti and everything, but I actually really enjoyed this. I mean, just like Transformers or something else, it's over-the-top action. It's Michael Bay, but you know what? It's fun. It's a good popcorn fun movie that I really, really enjoy. And the last of the Steelbooks, one I've been wanting for my collection for a very, very, very long time, and that is Casino. This is a beautiful Steelbook. I like the green, even though it's kind of like crap green. I really like it. I love the Ace of or the Ace of Hearts and also the um, Queen of Hearts. You guys know I love gangster movies. I love gambling movies this is right up my alley and the back is perfect it says no one stays at the top forever check that out simple you guys know i like simple just wish it had inside artwork but 
I can't really complain. It's Casino. Love it. So that is my last of my steelbooks. So guys, the moment you've been waiting for the Star Wars part, you guys know I don't double dip. I very, very rarely double dip. And for some weird reason, The Force Awakens just did something to me where I went ham. And you guys remember, the first thing I picked up was The Complete Saga. I actually like this one a little bit better. I was told that there was no difference between this one and the other Complete Saga, as far as I know. I like the one better with Vader because Vader is probably one of my favorite villains of all time. So that's The Complete Saga. Now on to The Force Awakens. I have first picked up the actual just plain old Amray. Everybody picked this up. Beautiful slipcover, guys. Everybody that picked this up... Come on, look at that, that shine, and you can see the stars. I love this steel, or excuse me, I love this Amory, this slipcover. Beautiful. And I also, one thing I'm really nerdy and weird about, I love the black case. I think it's cool, and I love how you get the different artwork. Simple touches like that, guys, for me, makes a big difference. I actually got this with a lithograph set, which I will be showing you here in a minute at the end, through the Disney store, which if you guys remember from try podcast we talked about it i really wanted that lithograph set i am so glad i picked it up so you guys know me in steelbooks i wasn't not gonna pick up the steelbook everybody seemed to pick this up love this steelbook i just wish they put the poster on the back instead of captain phasma i i don't know i think the steelbook though looks gorgeous i'm very happy with it i can't complain Heck, it's the only still book anyway that I own out of, the Force, or out of this Star Wars saga. If I owned all the other ones, that might be a different story. But hey, fantastic looking still book. And then the last thing we picked up, the BB-8 version. Yes, we got the BB-8 version at Walmart. Jess thinks the BB-8 is adorable. And yeah, it just opens up and you can see Finn, Ray, Han, and Poe. Nothing special. It's just a cool slip cover. Whatever. You know. Jess really liked it. She says, let's pick it up. So I said, okay. Hey, I wasn't going to fight with her. The only thing that I need now is I still... I don't know if you can still find it or not. I really want the Target exclusive. Because after seeing a lot of people do an unbox of that, I really, really liked it. Now, as I was saying, I was talking about the Lithograph set. Now, this came with the actual Amory. As I was talking about, this was the Disney exclusive. Here's the front. Let me guys do a little pan for you guys. It's a beautiful, it's big, it's beautiful. I didn't think it would be this nice. And there's the back with, of course, BB-8, you guys. You gotta have BB-8 on everything, you know? It's just, he was one of the main characters. So let me actually take out the pictures here and show you guys. You guys, I hope you guys like them as much as I do because I was blown away. So here we go. Here's what came with them. Here's the pictures. First, we got this beautiful sunset. Beautiful sunset. I think this is probably my favorite out of all of them with the TIE fighters flying by. It's just something about it that's just stunning. Guys, take a quick look. I'll do a quick pan. Next picture, we got Kylo Ren there. Really cool. I actually really like the lighting here on how it is. I don't know why, something about it. And they all, just to show you, they all have this Disney stamp of approval or whatever it is. I don't know, whatever. But this is really cool too. Next one we got is Chewie and Han, another great photo. Come on, you know, when they first get on the Millennium Falcon, I think it's really cool. And the last one we got here is good old Ray with BB-8. Very, very nice, another great one. The detail, guys, on these is it's spectacular. It's I wish you guys could see this in person. I didn't see too many people pick up the lithograph set. So, yes, guys, I think all these pictures are beautiful. I will be framing them. I just haven't got around to it. I don't have the room. As you can see right here, I got a new shelf. So, technically, I just leave the lithograph stuff. I keep the pictures in the in the folder or the sleeve, and then I just throw it up there anyway. So, now to continue the theme of Star Wars, I have some pops I want to show you guys really quick. First up is Poe Dameron. This was a birthday gift from Jess. I love Poe. I don't know why. We mentioned it in one of my videos. Um, he was only like four bucks, she said, on sale. You can't beat that a pop for four bucks. Heck yeah. So good old Poe. Three more pops I want to show you guys. You guys know I picked up Giant Man. If you didn't see that video where I go and do pop hunting, please go check it out. A few weeks prior, I picked up Ant-Man, which I've been wanting this one for a while. Great, great looking little pop there. With Captain America Civil War coming out, I had to pick up the Spider-Man. Now, this isn't the Civil War. They don't have one, as far as I know. Spider-Man, because it's owned by Sony, they just have a few of these. But this is just... I always wanted a Spider-Man pop. Finally, had the chance to pick one up at Walmart. Thank you, Walmart, for coming through. 
And last but not least of the pops, I picked up the Walmart exclusive Black Panther. I don't know if you can see. Come on, camera and lighting. He uh, he has glitter on him. He's, he's very shimmery. His spirit fingers. He's actually really cool. Um, probably the most excited character I'm looking forward to in Civil War is Black Panther. I can't wait. So I had to pick up the Walmart exclusive. Guys, if you ever have a chance to go to Walmart and pick up pops, please do. I mean, I think they're, I paid eight dollars or 850 i want to say they're pretty reasonable they're just like barnes and nobles but yeah so those are all the pops i picked up and as always if you want to see more of these videos give me a thumbs up lets me know that you're enjoying them and i want to know which star wars force awakens version did you pick up i'm really curious to hear and see what you guys got and as always everybody take care and happy watching <laughs>